Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight we're at an amazing reception here at Bloomingdale's. We're at the Furniture Gallery at Roosevelt Field Mall. Not only is it an amazing collection that we can celebrate African American Heritage Month, it gives artists, new artists, emerging artists, class artists that have been around for a long time, gives them space to exhibit their work. That's one of the toughest things for artists on Long Island is that there's just no gallery space. So this was perfect. We're just thrilled to celebrate Black History Month and bring it to life in our stores through this beautiful art. Celebrating local communities and diverse talents uh, on Long Island, it's part of our DNA and we're just thrilled to put some of this wonderful art together with our furniture. It just really elevates everything in the store, so it's a great exhibit and we hope everybody comes out and sees it. I grew up in a very small village in Southeast Mauritania. Life in the village, if, if you are external to that life, you will think that it is a total disorder, no organization, because you see different things coming from both directions, from different directions, like mixed up. If you belong to their life or you know their life, there is an organization, internal organization of the, of the life in the village. I came from a country where art is not very well promoted. It gives me more visibility about what I'm doing here in, in, in America. And I'm a reflection of my art because it's uh, everything that's near and dear to me as opposed to pretentiously putting together something just for display purposes. This is really for my enjoyment and I'm able to share it with others. It's uh, all photographic work, and then through digital enhancement, uh, I've worked on making it so the rendering is not literal. And when you look at the image, it's almost as if you're looking at the heart and soul from the inside out. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity, and because this is Black History Month, it makes it even more relevant because I'm able to share some of the stories that I've been able to record uh, telling a bit of our history during this time period. The thing about stained glass is in designing it, you have to figure out whether you can cut that piece of glass or not. And so some of the cuts in this particular piece were quite difficult, and some of the cuts I had to change the way where I split it. I was on a trip to Brazil, and there was a lady on the trip with me that every day she would come down with a different hairstyle. I asked if I could take her picture. I couldn't remember what her name was. Some years before that, I had been on a trip to Nigeria, and they had this renaming cer ceremony, and they named me Queen Mora Me. <laughs> so that's why I named the piece Queen Mora Me. Well, as a kid in elementary school, I used to work for the, the little newspaper we had. And uh, I would draw the cartoons for it and so forth. And I sort of got involved in the art that way. My art represents those things that are around us. And uh, I do things that relate to people. Uh, I think it was 1970 I did something that related to Biafra. And I do abstracts and I do some realistic art. And I enjoy it. I, I really enjoy it. We're also selling paintings here, and Bloomingdale's does not take one penny from the artist. So we really encourage everyone to come and look, see the beautiful furniture here, and also the amazing work. 